Alright, g'day guys, and welcome back to another CC3 Plus video. Uh, tonight we're going to be playing around with symbols, uh, and for anyone who's uh, new to the tool, uh, having come from things like maybe Microsoft products, uh, Microsoft Word, uh, or even PaintShop Pro, um, some of the uses of symbols can be quite uh, probably confusing in this tool. Um, you know, things, simple things like send to front and send to back. Um, if you're used to Word, you know, you have the ability to move text and images um, forward and backwards and it's, it's quite easy to use. Uh, if you come from PaintShop Pro, there's things called layers that allow you to obviously move uh, certain uh, layers of images in front of other layers and it can be quite daunting coming over here where you get um, all the sender back tools as well as layers as well as sheets and it can be quite confusing um, for new players or new users um, and you know confusion confusion can lead to frustration um, we know that you know there is a learning curve with this tool so if we'll just make a video about it so we can discuss some of the uh, the nuances of using it um, and sort of give you guys a better idea of how it all works so let's jump over to cc3 plus and have a look all right, so in front of me you can see I've got a map open. Um, we can see here that uh, it's a map, a large map that I'm working on. Uh, if I use the zoom buttons, I can zoom in and have a look at some of the islands I've been working on. Um, and the reason I'm showing you this one is this is a specific example of where I had a lot of trouble with the symbols. Um, if anyone's watched Joe Sweeney's videos, you'll know he recommends to start at the top and move your way forward. Listen to that man. Oh, it's good advice. Um, I spent hours trying to get this right just because I, I came down and did this side here and then I went back and did this side here and I did it all in the wrong order and it was just a it was just not a good idea. Um, but there is ways to fix it um, and I got to admit I, I stubbornly pushed through to teach myself how to do this properly. Um, so hopefully we can share some of that with you today. So I'm just going to zoom in on another section here and we'll have a look at some of the things I'm talking about. All right, so I'm just going to bring up a tree tool. Now, obviously moving trees or putting down trees, if you listen to, to Joe um, and you start it back and you move your way forward, things look pretty good. All right, and that's the recommendation is that you always move at the back and move your way forward. That way your tree trunks always look like they're behind. If you start forward and move your way back, you're going to ruin the effect. Okay, because you've got the tree trunks that uh, basically overlap on top of other sheets, uh, and that's not a good look. Okay, so you want to try to get that right. Now, there are ways to fix this. I'll just press escape to get rid of that symbol, and then we'll have a look at what we should be doing. So, these ones are fine. These ones here are not. So what we can do it's because these are all actually on the same sheet, and we'll discuss that in a minute, we can actually use the send forward and the send back tools. So this is bring forward, this is send to back. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use send to back and I'm gonna click on this edit here. All right, and we should see that one go to the back. And it looks like for the most case it has, and we'll do it on this one here. And we'll send that back to alright so you can see that is actually working it is causing a fair bit of uh, confusion because center back is literally going to send it right to the back of everything else which means when I sent this one back it's then basically behind to this one so I've caused another error so as you can see it's quite uh, a good idea to get this right at the start what we can do though, is we can use this button here, which is the bring in front of entity. So what we can do is we can actually see, uh, we can click that button, that one there, then look down at the command in the bottom left and it says move above entity. So that means I've got to pick the entity I want to move above. So I'm going to click this tree here. You can see that now it says select entity. So now I'll click the next entity just on the edge and then I'm going to right click and do it. All right, and there we go. Now you can see that that one is down, uh, it's moved quite well. If I use that again, uh, I can click on this one here and then this one here and click do it. And there we go. It looks like we've just basically got that to be just about perfect. All right, so these buttons over here are largely useful for working with symbols that are on the same sheet. Now, what am I talking about? If you've come from PaintShop Pro, you probably know about layers. 
The layers are controlled up here with the L button and you can click that and you get a list of all your layers. Layers does not control what symbols appear on top of other symbols. Sheets, however, do. So if we have a look at sheets, we can click that button there and it brings up the sheets. And when we're looking through this list, we can see that there's a map border down the bottom and a background at the top. What it is, is background is on the bottom of your map, map border is on the top of your map. Okay, so if we have a look at this, we can see things like roads should be underneath the symbols. So if I draw a road using the major road tool, do a refresh, the road will go underneath. Okay, and you might be saying, well, how do I know why? What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a command called list. So down here in the bottom left is the command prompt. I'm going to type list and press enter. It then prompts me to select an entity. So we'll do that. We'll click on a tree and right click and go do it. This window pops up and we can see this is on the sheet symbol trees. We can also go in and see what layer it's on and some other details. But the important thing is symbol trees. All right, if we do the same thing for the road, we can see it's on the roads sheet. All right, so if we have a look at that, we've got roads, we've got symbol trees, symbol trees is on top of roads, and therefore that's why that that's coming through. So what we could do, let's say we wanted the road on the top, is we could change it. So using the edit properties button, Oh, change properties, sorry. We're going to basically click that button, going to click the road until it goes purple, going to right click and go do it. And then from here we can change the properties. So we'll click the sheet and what we can do is we can put it on symbol trees and now it should really confuse it. All right, so now you can see that it's on top. Um, and what we could do is we could probably use the send to behind And there we go. All right, so because I've got them on the same sheet, those buttons work again. If they're not on the same sheet, those buttons don't do anything. And I've seen a lot of people get frustrated over the fact that they're trying to figure out why these buttons don't work. Symbols trump buttons, okay? And these symbols are a lot more powerful. So plan your, your um, not symbols, sorry, your, your sheets are more effective. So plan your sheets. Don't forget that you can add sheets, you can remove sheets, you can modify sheets. So. In this case here, I needed some lava. I've added in my own sheet for lava. Um, you can see, no, I haven't got any symbol effects on there, but if I did, um, they would be on here. We'll turn those off though. That's not what this video is about. Um, but yeah, so sheets are obviously more important. Now, there's a really cool functionality here that I think needs to be mentioned that's particularly useful for trees. I'll just delete these and do a refresh. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay down, going to lay down a heap of trees. We're going to try and use an automated tool to speed this up. So I've put some trees down, and this could very well fail on me, but we'll see. Down here in the command prompt, we're going to type sim sort. So sim for symbol, and then sort. And then it gives me a, an option here saying select entities and I can do a click and then click once I've dragged out a box and right click and do it. And if you have a look at that, you can see that what that's done is that's actually automatically sorted those symbols so that the, uh, the back trees are behind the front trees. Um, so that's obviously a, a much more efficient and easy way to do it. All right, guys. So that's that's pretty much the nuts and bolts of working with symbols and making sure that they're um, basically layering on top of each other in the correct order um, just to run that over again it's not layers layers are a way for you to group your things together it can be very useful um, you know so if you want to group all the trees in uh, or a particularly uh, common use would be to group all of the secret symbols and the secret door signs together in a dungeon that way you can turn that off very easily all right, then there's sheets. Sheets are important. Sheets are what uh, basically dictates what's on the back of the map and what's on the front. And once again, the bottom is the front, the top is the back. Uh, and obviously this is where your sheet effects get applied as well. Um, you can hide things from here as well, by the way. So if you wanted to say just work on 
uh, the trees for example you could actually click this auto hide and click OK then you could just see the trees that can be very handy for, for working on just specific things and then you've got the buttons and if things are on the right buttons then you can use them now there's a bit more of an intricacy here so let's just put a mountain down uh, press escape and press refresh let's see what happens all right so you can see the mountain has appeared uh, on top of this so let's have a look at uh, we'll press list and actually look on the mountain and right click do it and have a look it's actually a symbols trees so this one's actually quite confused and it probably should have gone onto the actual um, onto a different layer so let's just change the properties and just show you what it looks like if we do that so we'll put on symbols which is probably where it should default to all right in that case there you can actually see that it's uh, it's behind the trees all right that's basically how that sheet is designed if we go back and have a look at the sheet you can see symbols is on top of symbol trees which means it's going to be below so anything on the top is uh, basically below anything that's on the bottom so how do we fix that all right so we've got some other buttons here we've got bring in front of I can never get the prompt for this I think it's uh, send behind of so what we do is repress this button and it says move above entity so I want to move this above the tree all right I'm gonna say it says select entities so I'm gonna click the uh, mountain and click do it all right you can see it's worked for one element of trees we're gonna do that again with the next element of trees so click the tree then click the object that I want to move in front of it and click do it all right we can see that that works now if we type in list again press enter and, and click on the mountain range we can right click and go do it and we can see what happened and what's actually occurred here is that tools actually moved the mountain range into the symbols trees uh, sheet and basically moved it in front of the other objects that's that's how it's worked um, so what we could do here uh, instead of this is we could actually let's say we moved the mountain out for a bit what we can actually do is we can have a look we've got symbols we've got symbol trees and symbol trees behind so if we were to highlight all of these trees right click do it and change them to symbol trees behind and then do a reset and then we can move this mountain back in place click refresh and as you can see that's now worked again all right and that's largely because of just the sheets there so hopefully you can see that sheets are quite quite powerful uh, you can obviously use them to, to great effect um, and having multiple sheets for things can be useful as well so for example uh, in here I'm going to make a point of uh, having some trees all right and those trees are in front of the mountain and once again that's because those trees are on symbol trees the mountains on symbols and the other trees behind the mountain are on symbols trees behind so therefore they're behind so quite a powerful functionality once you start combining the use of sheets with the actual um, the, the move in front of the move behind tools it's just a, it's just a learning curve to sort of get your head around how they work and to understand um, in which situations to use each one all right so just remember the buttons are only for anything that's on the same sheet and you'll be fine all right guys so that was a uh, video on cc3 plus on how to make making uh, symbols layer correctly i don't know if that's the right terminology but you know the nuts and bolts is how can i make one symbol appear on top of the other how can i control that and uh, hopefully this video will help some of you uh, get your head around that a bit quicker um, if you have found this video interesting or if there's any questions, uh, please contact me either using the comments below. Uh, please do feel free to subscribe uh, if you want to be notified for my future videos that come out. And apart from that, guys, have a great day and happy mapping.